Right, I'm off in search of Heather again, but this time on Home Fell. Why not come with me? You can hear me above the roar of the water. Right, will you catch me out for another walk? And it's another walk looking for Heather. Although this time I'm going to walk up Home Fell, which is a well-known fell for getting images of the Heather, etc. So yeah, so we've parked at Yew Tree Tarn, which is a very convenient place. Well, I find it very convenient to park there is a little pulling uh, sort of lay by want to call it just by the town on the road and you can probably fit oh I would have thought at least five cars in the, in the lay by and every time I've been as far as I can remember I've always managed to find a spot so that's useful so yeah, so we're walking round the sort of path that goes sort of round the tarn at the moment till we get to the path that then will take us up Home Fell and onto the top where the heather is. And the heather on the top of the, the fell is looking quite good. You can see it from the road. And I have taken an image there to use as the thumbnail for this video so if you've seen the thumbnail you maybe have an indication of how the header's looking and in the weather today is down as showers and sunny intervals so we'll just have to see how we get on but hopefully we'll get some good light on the header but yep i think that's all to say at this point we'll carry on get up the fell and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've made it to near the top and the highest point is actually up that way. But I thought what I'd do first, if we come round and we can see various mountains etc. And we can, if I zoom in, we can see in the distance there the Langdales that we could see when we're at um, Lingmore Fell. But what there is, I mean, I don't know whether you can see it really from here. If we just walk along a bit, there is a couple of disused, what the map refers to as disused reservoirs. Now, I have been to them before, and not, not in the heather season, and did get some some interesting images, some dark and moody black and white images. Right, I can see one just down there. I don't know whether you can see it in the frame. We're fully zoomed in, so we'll just come up a bit. Yeah, it's there in the middle of the frame. So we're going to wander around here, see if we can get some images of the, with the header and the, the reservoir in. So we'll just have a mooch around, have a wander around, see what we can come up with. And yeah, we'll see you a little bit later. Record it through the stills camera as well so I can show you what we've got. So if you can see the, the video from the, from the 5D, you can see that we've got the um, Disused reservoir, tarn, or whatever you want to call it, there. 
but we've got this big clump of heather here to add some colour and then in the background we've got the Langdales and I'm not quite sure um, what this mountain here is and that so whether it'll work or not, whether it's a bit unbalanced because we've got all this heather here and nothing particularly at this side but we've taken so far we've taken a number of different images as the light has changed. The light is very variable today. The other problem is it's quite windy so I've actually upped the ISO to 400 so I can get the shutter speed up to a 200th of a second and hopefully compensate uh, for any movement from the wind. So yeah hopefully that's a nice composition and it'd be nice to have some light on the Langdales at the back there and but yeah we'll maybe just hang around a little while and maybe capture some more images of the same same composition as the light changes you can see at the moment the light starting to come on the mountain there so yeah we'll stop that there we'll put the best of the images up and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've not come much further than where we got the last image from. Just come down, if we turn around here we'll see we've got the camera there and then we're looking onto the reservoir with some heather in front of us, etc. So yeah, that's how well it'll come out I'm not quite sure but that's another image and we're maybe going to walk around by the reservoir have a look at the other reservoir see if there's anything we can come up with and then we're going to head um, up to the top and i just bumped into somebody and i sort of said it, it's going to rain shortly but i don't know there are some black clouds there are some there's some sun about so we'll see if this image is any good we'll put it up and then we'll see you a little bit later
mates, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me, but I've reached the top and the wind is pretty uh, horrible. So we've come up with a composition and we'll, we'll try and show, <laughs> show you it. And if we turn around you can see there's the tripod. I've taken the camera off at the moment because I don't want it to blow over. And if we zoom in, you can see the um, the disused reservoirs in there and then we've got the header in the front. I've taken numerous images. I don't know how well they've come out with the movement uh, and it is quite dark. I mean, it looks as though it could lighten up a bit. If it lightens up a bit, or maybe try again um, just to get a higher shutter speed and we've had to we've done someone with just sort of focusing a third in and I've done some focus stacking on the header and on the the, the reservoir so yeah so that's it well let me hang about a bit more so we can get some slightly better shots as you can see there are places where there is a bit of light but not down here at the moment and then we'll see, have a look around. There is, obviously, there's patches of header and then there's the, the sort of bit across there as well. It's sort of a mountain of, of two tops. You've got this top and then you've got a valley going down there and then a top the other side there, a bit lower on the other side. So, so we'll just hang around, see if the sun is going to come out, the cloud is moving, see what we can do and then we'll move on and see what else we can find. So we'll see you a little bit later. Well, we've come from, we've come over to the other side. You can see where we were across there, and we've come over here, and we've come up with probably our final composition. You can see the camera there, and then just in front of it, there's some heather, and then in the background, if I zoom in, you'll be able to see that there's the Langdales. They get, they make quite a good um, background of the Langdales, so. Yeah, and I, I worked out earlier on the mountain that is just in front of them, that you can just see there. That's actually Lingmore Fell where I was, well, about it'd be a fortnight ago, I think, trying to capture the heather. So, yeah, the heather's quite good. It's just, it's extremely difficult. Uh, I mean, you can see from the video the amount of that everything's blowing about and and the light isn't isn't brilliant although it keeps changing there's odd bits of good light uh, and then we've got fairly dull light so I might just hang about here just see if the light comes out on this uh, before we head back down so anyway whatever is the best image we'll put it up and I was just gonna say we'll see you a little bit later but just looking behind me 
you can see there that's Coniston water so um, yeah that that just to give you some idea where we are so yep so we'll put the best video up and we'll see you a little bit oh, this image up and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we're back down to the tarn and just got to walk round it to the, the van. So yeah, it was a little bit disappointing today on, on two main fronts <laughs> and mainly, I suppose one, the weather. The light wasn't, did come and go, but a lot of the time there wasn't as much in the way of sunny intervals as I thought there might be to, to light it up so a lot of the light was fairly flat so and the other problem combined with that was the amount of wind I was actually quite surprised particularly on the top it was it was ridiculous so so yeah it's a d disappointing walk I and mean, it's a nice walk I've just been walking um, it would have been fine, although if I'd just been walking, I'd have probably had a more definite track to walk rather than just wandering around looking for compositions. So, but yeah, it's um, it's a nice area. I get the impression that we're probably at the end of of the heather, so we won't won't be going out again this year looking for heather unless we happen to be out out and about and we see some so yeah just to remind people if you've enjoyed this video if you haven't already done please click the thumbs up if you could if you enjoy what i'm doing and you, you watch a number of times and you haven't already done please subscribe because it does really help the um the algorithm and get it out to to other people that might come across it for the first time and find it of some benefit so yeah please click the subscribe and whatever you do i do really appreciate all comments and i do reply to all comments even if that's reply is just a thank you uh, obviously if it's a question i will answer that so yeah i do appreciate that the last two or three videos have got quite a few comments that's that's good and it obviously helps me to understand um, what I'm doing right, what I'm not doing right, etc. To hopefully um, see how the channel's doing, and I will have put up um, uh, this is back to front. I think I think uh, we'll be putting up the the map of where we've been there so yeah I always get confused I think what I'm seeing on this is is a mirror image at the moment and obviously when it comes out it's not a mirror image so yeah so hopefully uh, the map will be there as far as I know the GPS has been working and yeah I don't think there's much else to say I'm not quite sure where I'm going at next I and mean, this is uh, where are we now Tuesday hopefully get this out on Sunday and hopefully get out on the weekend for the one 
the week following. And um, yeah, what was going? Oh, there is. Um, before this video comes out, there is a video about the uh, Festival of Light on Cat Bell. It's a very short video, and all being well, that will be coming out tomorrow, Wednesday night. So, yeah, we'll stop rambling there, and we'll see you on the next video.